Hello folks, good day to you! Welcome to this new video, Andrew from Mill Head Games here. Today we're going to talk about Godot Engine. After just two weeks, we have the Godot 4 Beta 2. Things are moving, things are moving fast, things are moving good. Now, since we are in the beta, not a lot of things are going to change. We're maintaining the features, but the devs actually can add some features. Like I was saying, there are some major changes. This beta is not only bug fixes, but there are a few very important features that we didn't manage to review in, in time for beta 1, and which have now been implemented in beta 2. A major thing here is the exploring custom resources is something actually that a lot of people has asked for and now we have this ability and you can load actually from the inspector resources and types of resources very easily now now there are some changes about the file directory wrappers replaced by file access directory now this is going to change a little bit your syntax because you're not going to access files like this this was the old way we we used to do this stuff and we're not going to use this anymore and most of this actually remains for example we still check if the file exists but now to open a file we just do file access that open and we just choose our our address of the file and and the type of file access like you can see we're not using file but we're using file access instead of file and i think that it's going to be the same for the directories as well and there's no need actually to to put a close at the end because it's not needed anymore now this is the very interesting part that i really enjoy and I'm very interesting. Um, you probably don't know, but I own now an Oculus Quest 2 and I'm using it a lot with Unreal Engine, but actually I'm very interested in using it with Godot Engine as well. OpenXR are basically all the libraries that are needed to hand tracking and palm, palm tracking, all, all that kind of stuff that actually, you know, VR headsets like MetaQuest 2 use to, to actually make things work. And that's great because thanks to this, we can make some VR games and that's that's a thing now guys i'm going to talk about vr in another video because i think that this new device deserves a lot more attention that it's it's having because it's going to be the future actually and the gaming world is kind of changing a lot because of the vr okay guys this was all leave a like and subscribe comment down below with your thoughts about the new vr implementations and all the bug fixes and all the news about this beta 2 don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you don't lose any of my future videos and this was all thank you for watching and more importantly keep devin games